We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top, new level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey, I live on a job. Right. Yeah, I'm always at work. Right. Real people stay by me. Right. Haters wanna do hurt. Right. No, they tryna stop me. Right. Drag my name through dirt. Right. I'm feeding to the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk. Facts. I feel Give me Isaiah 5 and 11 because a lot of our people, we always drunk. You know what? Hispanic people do that too. You go to Hialeah, it'd be 3 o'clock in the afternoon, they got a 40 in their hand. They got tequila shots in their hand. Read that. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink. That they may what? That they may follow strong drink. Right now you drinking and you just walking around. You could get hit by a car. Not me. Instead of you drinking at your house, at the right time, at the right moment, you walking around just drinking. It's so much stuff that we gotta do in our neighborhoods, but all our people want to do is party. Party, 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 dance, dance, dance. Did you know that on one of the black, uh, uh, black Lives Matter protests, the, they started doing the uh, Cupid Shuffle out right there? Do you know how people, we are absurd. They're doing the electric slide. It's not time to dance. It's not time for a fiesta. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to put evil out of this community. Give me that in um, Psalms 94 and 16. It's time for us to stand up. What's your name, bro? Murphy? Murphy, come here, man. Come here. How, let me ask you something. Let me ask you, how old are you? Nah, you do okay. They'll be okay. Because if, 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 if you got to collect the money, the money going to be there waiting for you. It's gonna be there waiting for you. I want you to hear this, Murphy. I want you to, Murphy, I want you to listen to this. Listen to this, Murphy. Stay right here. Cause this is a very important message. You the you want the you the you the, the the elders of this community. But if you are the elders community, you gotta be an example. You showing the young kids right now, you got beer and liquor in your hand. What you telling the young kids right now? It don't matter how old you is, it don't matter what time of day, I'm just gonna go and drink. You don't gotta go to school, you don't gotta work, you don't gotta do this, drink and have fun and smoke weed. Nah. No, I'm not saying you, but that's what our children hear from the music and from the role models in the community. You a role model. You supposed to stand up to evil. Read that. Psalms chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Murphy. God said, who gonna stand up for what's right? God says, who gonna, who gonna tell my young children they the Israelites? That's your job. It's time for you to know where you from, man. Alabama. You from Alabama? Where your, would you call your, your family um, African American? Yeah. Okay, so you look right here. The so-called African Americans in the tribe of Judah. Yeah. That's right. You're supposed to know that, Murphy. Yeah. You know who's from the tribe of Judah? Who? You know who's from the tribe? Who's also from the tribe of Judah? Give me that, Galatians. Christ, hey. your Lord and Savior. Look on that sign right there. Read that. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14 For it is ever It is clear read, That our Lord That our Lord Jesus the Christ Sprang out of Judah Out of what? Out of Judah Hey Murphy That's your tribe hey. So that means you the same You got the same heritage of Jesus Christ That's right. Now Murphy let me ask you something I see you got the woolly hair and it's white What color is Christ? When you look at that sign right there Look at that sign which 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 image of Christ have you seen all your life? Be honest. Which one have you seen all your life? Point to it. That's the one you've seen all your life? Okay. All praises, that's the one you've seen. The one I've seen all my life is here. But guess what? Which one is the correct image? Which one is the correct image of Christ? You can't tell. Okay, so all praises, we're going to show you. Because Christ was a black man. That image right there is a lie. Read that. Read that. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 1. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Ma'am, how you doing, ma'am? I see you got the nice woolly hair. Can I show you something real quick? Who also had the same hair like you, woolly? Come here real quick. Samson. And who else? That's right, come back, come back Five minutes, learn something today Let's read that, read it from the top 
Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. A lot of us say Christ is black, or we think Christ is black, but we were never taught that. We were never, I was never taught that. And I grew up in a Christian church. Seven day Adventist, Baptist, Holy Ghost. Woo! Everything. I was in all, all that stuff. But didn't dad teach me not a damn thing except give them money. Let's stay focused, all right? Let's stay focused. Read that. Read it from the top. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show. To what? To show. To what? To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So, the Lord showed our forefather John, the revelator, what he looked like. Jump to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now, look at that sign. Out of those two pictures, which one has white hair? Point at it. The one to the, to the, to the left? Oh, all right. So, and which one has woolly hair? Like the hair you got. He has woolly hair? Hold on. You, I don't think you, you look at correct. You know what woolly hair is? Woolly hair is like this. Woolly hair is hair like a sheep. Okay, of Negroid hair. Which one here? Read it again. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So white. So we know the color is white. That's here. Like wool. Which one had woolly hair? White hair? Well, yeah, white hair. Where you see white at? No, I see hair. Which one has white hair? What color is this hair here? Hey, man. No, no. Look, look well, look well. You see? What color is his hair here? Black. What color is his hair here? White. Okay, so he got white hair. Now, look at the texture of his hair. Is it similar to your hair? You see his beard? Is it similar to yours? Is it similar to mine? Right? You would say that your hair is like, like that, right? Okay. Do you? Is your hair like his hair? Or is your hair like his hair? No. Okay, so that's woolly hair. This is long, straight hair, thin hair. Okay, like a goat, like a dog. All right, so he had what kind of hair? And his head and his hairs were white like wool. So he had white, woolly hair like you. Read on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. What color? Like unto fine brass. Like unto what? Like unto fine brass. You ever seen brass? You ever seen a penny? Yeah. What color is a penny? I got one okay, pull it out. Let's see. Let's see. Because we need to find, because the Bible is giving us imagery right now. Why you pull that out? Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass. Like unto what? Fine brass. Okay, let me see that penny. Okay, so brass is this color. All right. So what 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 color this is, does this look like? Brown. 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 Correct. You're right. Brown. So which person here has brown skin? Him. Not him. All right. So he got brown skin. What else? And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. When you burn anything, what color is it? Look over that that tar right there. What color is that tar? It's black, it's burnt, black. So Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. Here you go, take that, take that brown penny that looked just like our Lord and Savior. So Jesus Christ is a black man. So now, now we know that black lives matter. That Israel lives matter. That you can find black people in the Bible. That's right. This is our history book. Right. We are the children of Israel. That's it's time right. for us to wake up. Right. You understand? Uh-huh. If I think the Lord is black, okay. If he's white, you don't know. Okay, let's read it again. I think we got. I want you to, re Murphy. I want you to listen to real good. It's gonna give you the description of Christ. Read it again. Revelation chapter one and verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said. It said his head and his hairs were white and woolly. Only black people have woolly hair, like a sheep. Like the hair you have. Look at your hair right now. Your hair is white. It got a little bit of mixed up with a little bit of black, but it's white. Okay? And it's woolly. Same like Christ. So, so far, you look just like him. Read. As white as snow. 
and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. So his feet was like the color of brass, like that penny. That's who I read. But now, his, it says his feet was like? His feet like unto fine brass. Like fine brass. What color was that penny? Brown. So what color was Christ? He was brown. He was black. Because how black was? As if they burned in a furnace. You, you never went, you cut the yard all day and you come back and say, damn boy, you done got black as hell. This, damn it, there's nothing wrong saying damn. It's damn, damn is in the Bible. Right? Let them be damn. So, my, what, I don't want you to lose the point. My point is that Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. That is your heritage. Right. So, Murphy, it's time for you to change. Murphy, it's time for you to change. Now, let's show you something. Give me Titus. Give me Titus 2. All right? Give me Titus. Hold on. I want you to. Oh, how he got on there? Okay, let's get that. Let's get that. Give me Matthew chapter 24. Let's get that. How he got it? We're going to show you. We're going to show you. He got there through slavery. That's like, when we were slaves, live up this sign. Caleb, okay, look, look up that sign. Look right here. What do you see right here? What do you see right there? You see a what? A cross. Every time you see that cross, who do you see? You see him. There you go. So this cross, they were killing our people way back in the 1400s, even earlier, teaching them Christianity, hanging them, burning them on fire to worship the Roman Catholic Church. That's where that, that image came from. That's why Christ told us this, Murphy. Listen to what Christ told you. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Christ is telling you, Murphy, don't let nobody trick you no more. Stop letting people tell you that Christ was a white man. Stop letting people tell you that the, the tribe of Judah was white. That the, the Jewish people, meaning they wish they were Jews, are the real Jews. No, they're not. You're the real Jew. You are from the tribe of Judah. That's your heritage right here. Read. For many shall come in my name. So the Bible says many people was going to come in his name, pretending that they were Christ. That happened during slavery. The Roman Catholic Church, Christianity taught our people the white image. Okay? They taught us through slavery. That was the Willie really Lynch effect. Read. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Saying, I am Christ. This is Caesar Bogier. Okay? This is uh, uh, the, the, the Pope's son, okay? During the 1400s, they painted his picture, and in the process of time, this image has stayed, and that's what they taught us. Because we have 400 years where we couldn't read or write. Right. So during that time, they taught us that. But guess what? Isaac could read, master. We can read now. Now it's time for us to wake up. Read it again. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Saying, I am Christian. Saying, I love God. Saying, you could do whatever you want. You could drink out in the broad daylight. You could smoke weed. You could be homosexual. You could kill your brother. No, that's not in the Bible. That is not in the Bible. You already know that. Okay, so now, what do you got to do? What does God require of you? What does God want from you? Let's get to the point. Give me Proverbs 7 2. He just wants you to be you? That's what he wants from you? Huh, Murphy? Proverbs 7 2. Come on. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Break it up. Keep my commandments and live. Do what? Keep my commandments and live. Murphy, God says you got to keep his commandments to have a better life. You got to teach these young men how to be something. Give me Titus 2. Now let's find out how do you teach these young men? How are you going to be a role model to the young men out here? Because Murphy, you, you could be somebody's father out here. You got four kids, so you need to be teaching them this. You got to teach them this, Murphy. It's time to put the, the, the alcohol down and get your mind right and be sober. Because right now, you can barely talk to me. Because you're not all the way there. But the Lord going to deal with you right now. Read. Titus chapter 2 and verse 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Become what? Sound doctrine. You're going to hear the doctrine of God right now. Get to the point. Verse 2. That the aged men. That what? That the aged 
Man, Murphy, you an aged man. You an elder in this community. But you can't be an elder in wickedness. You can't be an elder in the, in the lust of the world. You gotta be an elder in righteousness. We don't. That the aged men be sober. Be what? Be sober. Be what? Be sober. Murphy, you gotta be sober, man. You sober? Okay, if you sober, throw that, throw that drink down on the floor. Put that drink down if you sober. No, say, say, say that again. I just bought you, you just bought this. You see what I'm saying? And what time is it? It's eight o'clock. You, but you, you about to go get some money. You, when you get money, don't you gotta count it? So how you gonna count it if you drunk? How you gonna count it if you not sober? Read it again. Titus chapter two and verse one. Three, two, that the aged men be sober. You gotta be sober. You dealing with money? You dealing with you working? You gotta be sober. You can't be drunk, read. Grave, grave, serious. It's time for you to be serious, Murphy. We the men, we the, we the men. We're supposed to be leading our community in righteousness. What are you teaching these young men right here? Are we just supposed to walk around here drinking? Read. Temperate. Temperate, meaning you got to be able to control your emotions. Meaning if, if, if it's time for you to put the drink down, you can put the drink down. It's just a drink. That ain't life. God says his commandments is life. Read. Sound in faith. Sound in faith. That's the real faith. Being able to put something away and be able to listen to the word of God and not be intoxicated and be sober-minded and teach your young men how to be men. Read. Sound in faith. In charity, in patience. In patience. It's going to take patience to quit them the old ways that you're doing right now. Give me Titus 3 and 3. Because, listen here, we young, we might not be as old as you, Murphy, but all of us was, was living a foolish life. All of us. Whether it was smoking weed, sleeping with woman to woman, going to the club, stealing. All of us was living that type of life. But we changed to be better role models in our communities. You 61, so you need to put that down. You shouldn't be drinking like that now. You, we got coronavirus out here. You supposed to be getting yourself healthy. You supposed to be taking care of your body, not drinking all day. Cause let me tell you, one beer ain't gonna get you like that. You have been drinking more than that. You have, you got what? Five? This is, this is what we talking about. That is not sober. That is not an example for our people. Read. Titus chapter three and verse three. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Even ourselves, we used to be foolish. Look, look at the example you're teaching. And I know that that brother is, is, is younger than you. What he got his hand? He got a beer too. That's what we teaching one another. We teaching one another evil. Give me a Jeremiah 2 and 33, man. Give me that. We teaching, our, we teaching each other evil. We're supposed to teach each other good stuff. Read, come on. Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 33. And 33, why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? God says, why are you doing wicked stuff just because you want to do the stuff that you love? you doing things that's wicked. You know you ain't supposed to be drinking like that. You're supposed to be drinking moderately. A drink here, a drink there. You're supposed to know what's your limit. But now you're walking out here stumbling. You can't even read nothing. You can't even hold a conversation with a brother. What if I needed some directions around here? You wouldn't be able to tell me. What if I want to know what is a key, the, how do I get to the kingdom of God? What would you tell me? What would you tell me, Murphy? You wouldn't be able to tell me nothing because you're still stuck in your ways. You're still trying to seek the love, the things that you like. It says, do the things that God likes. Read. Verse 33. Well, try trimmest thou way to seek love. Therefore, hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. So now you you teaching other people evil. You teaching your brothers how to get drunk. You teaching the young children how to get drunk. That's not what God says to do. We got to live sober. We got to change. This is what you got to do. Give me Acts 319, man. It's time for you to change that, Murphy. It's time for you to change, Murphy. Before you leave, I want you to listen to this. Before you leave, read. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Murphy, the Lord says to repent. Stop getting drunk. Stop drinking around. Learn who you are. You learn today that you what? That Christ was what? What did you learn today? What do we tell you? 
I told you. Okay, other than that, what did I what significant? What did I tell you today? About about our Lord and Savior. What about him? About the kid, okay, what else? You see, you see what I'm saying? When you were sober, you can't remember. We told you that Christ is a black man. That's right. Okay. That's what you need to remember. We told you to do what? Be sober. And you still didn't put that drink down. You still didn't put that drink down. Eh? You need to put it down. Give me uh, Ephesians 5. Let me show you something. Ephesians 5. Because you got, you got to learn how to drink, bro. There's nothing wrong with drinking, but we cannot be drunk. We got to learn how to drink moderately. Read. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. Bring it on. And be not drunk. What? And be not drunk. The Bible says be not drunk. That's the law God giving you right now, Murphy. Stop being drunk. You drunk right now. You didn't even remember that I told you the most important thing. Your Lord and Savior was a black man. Read. And be not drunk with wine. With wine or any strong drink. Read. Wherein is excess. But be filled with the spirit. So God says you're supposed to fill yourself with the spirit. That's what you're supposed to feel. Because you know why you're drinking? Because you're trying to escape. You're trying to escape your problems. But it don't matter what you do, your problems still going to stay there. You want to get rid of your problems? You want to have a better life? You got to start keeping the commandments. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.